voice of Giacomo Lorivolti singing from Norma the aria Metro alla Terra di Venere. And this was a 1928 recording. And now the story of the first act of tonight's major opera presentation, Norma. The scene is called at the time of the Roman occupation. The first scene of Act One is the sacred forest of Dijon. In the middle is the oak tree of Hermansil, and at its foot is the druid's stone altar. Oravanzio leads the druid in expressions of hatred of the Roman invaders. They depart. Corleone, the Roman proconsul, appears and confides to his friend Flavio that he has forsaken the druid high priestess. He recounts the dream, warning him of Norma's vengeance, and the two Romans leave as the Gauls return for the sacred rites. Norma, intending to avert further battles which might endanger Corleone's life, announces that Gerenso must not yet call the Gauls to war and that Rome will fall eventually because of its own internal weakness. She then invokes the just goddess of the moon as she sings the Castellina for peace. When the others have departed, Adaltiza returns to the clearing to meet Corleone, who persuades her to run away with him to Rome. The second scene is Norma's home. Adaltiza confesses to Norma that she has a lover. Norma gently forgives her for breaking the sacred vow of chastity until she discovers that Adaltiza's lover is none other than the man who has just entered Corleone. In fury, she calls down a curse upon them. Corleone leaves hurriedly at the sound of the temple god calling the Gauls together. And in this act, we have some famous arias. Corleone sings Mecca Aralta di Venere, and Norma, of course, the Castaniva, and Adaltiza sings Scandra alla Sacra Selva, and Corleone marks Verle a Dio Spiatato. And the cast we are listening to this evening is from a 1961 production of recording of E.M. 